Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to make something really simple and delicious for the new year, Happy New Year 2024 I'm going to make cheese and onion flan, Brit style, oh yeah! This was requested by Jan Hume. She actually asked for a few other things, which I've already done, but I've never done a cheese and onion flan. I have done quiches, which are like the French version, and you might be wondering what the difference is, and so am I. The only thing I really find that sounds plausible is that in the French quiche, you put your ingredients in, maybe bacon, maybe a vegetable, something, whatever, um, and then you pour the sort of egg batter over it and in the Brit version you mix them all together. If you enjoy this video give it a like, share, subscribe etc and let's get on with it. Cheese and onion flan. Actually there's another kind of flan. In Spain flan is a set custard dessert with a burnt sugar top. Sounds like creme caramel yeah? It is exactly the same thing and nothing like a cheese and onion flan. So there you go. First thing to do is make some short crust pastry. Obviously you can buy it ready-made, but I always prefer to make my own. I think it's better and yeah, I just enjoy doing it. So yeah. So I've got 200 grams of plain all-purpose flour, 110 grams of fat. This is a mixture of lard and butter. You could use all lard or all butter, or you could maybe use shortening. Half a teaspoon of salt and just enough cold water to make it come together in a ball. So I could use the mixer to do this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to add the salt. Just stir that in. And then rub in the fat and cut it into little chunks to make that easier. And also you want your fat to be not exactly softened, but not straight out the fridge. You know, not chilled solid. So take it out an hour or two before you're going to use it, if you do keep it in the fridge. And rub the fat in with your fingertips. Keep breaking it down into smaller and smaller pieces and you'll end up with something with the texture of coarse sand. That's more or less it. There are some bits that are a little bit bigger than others, but I'm not too bothered about that. So now I'm going to add cold water a bit at a time. I've got 150 ml here so that we'll be able to work out how much we actually used when this has come together as a ball. See what I did there? I put too much water in. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Alright, that's worse, than, that's worse than I wanted, but it, it, it'll still be okay, I reckon. So I'm just going to Cover that with uh, plastic film and stick it in the fridge for about half an hour to rest. Now ingredients for the filling, I've got four large eggs, I've got 100 grams of cheese, I've got 250 ml of, uh, actually that's a mixture of milk and double cream, heavy cream. You could use all milk. I've got a large onion, yeah okay, one and a half medium ones, a teaspoon of English mustard, and a half teaspoon of white pepper, a half teaspoon of salt. Should do it. Oh, about the cheese, any cheese you like, uh, that's, that's a chunk of mature cheddar. This is some exotic uh, double Gloucester with chilli and lime in it that we have left over from Christmas. And it's got quite a kick. So you probably wouldn't use that normally, you'd just go for all cheddar. But you know, it's up to you, whatever you like, whatever you've got. So. I need to pre-cook the onion, and so before we do that, we've got to chop it up. Now we need to melt a bit of butter and a bit of oil in a largish frying pan, and on low heat just cook the chopped onion for about five minutes till it's softened but not browned. Okay, there we go, so I'll just pop those on a, a cold plate, let them cool. And now I can mix up all the other filling ingredients. So we want a bowl and I need to grate the cheese. Add the eggs. The pepper. 
the salt and the mustard. This is uh, kind of option if you don't like English or you could use Dijon which is a bit less uh, stringent <laughs> or just leave out the mustard altogether. Okay, mixy mixy and the milk and cream and when those onions are cold we'll add those as well. Now it's time to roll out the pastry so some flour on your worktop and uh, you will need a tin. This is uh, a fluted flan tin with a removable bottom and it is um, 23 centimeters 9 inches diameter. Okay so get your dough and just roll it out thin like uh, about 5, five mil, quarter of an inch kind of thin. Um, I'm not going to blind bake it so uh, you know thinner pastry will be better if you're not blind baking it. Okay I think this will do so I'm gonna roll it around the rolling pin and sprinkle a load of rice flour in the tin which will stop it sticking. You could also use polenta or semolina for the same purpose and then unroll the pastry over the tin. Position it centrally and grab a bit of extra dough and use that to push the pastry right up against the edge. Trim off the excess and just raise up the edge so it's not sticking on the rim of the tin. Well, I'm painting the edge with egg wash which is a beaten egg with a splash of milk in it. Now I'll mix some onion in with the rest of the filling mixture and pour that into the pastry case. You need your oven heater to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven or air fryer oven. Uh, that's 200 for a conventional one and that's gas six. And this goes in for 30 to 35 minutes. You want the pastry to be golden and crispy and the filling to be golden with a slight wobble. Time's up, innit? It rose. <laughs> I expected it to rise a bit, but possibly not that much. Okay, that seems like it said, it's uh, you know, a little bit soft, but it's not going all the way in. So we'll let that cool down and then we'll have a taste test. Oh yes, it's collapsed down a bit, as you might expect. So let's get this out of the tin onto a wire rack and let it cool down. You can eat it warm or cold. It's uh, equally fab either way. Okay, this is a bit exciting. Let's um, cut a wedge out and uh, See how it is. Oh yes, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, here it is with some buttered new potatoes and some green stuff. Okay, here we go. That's fantastic, absolutely gorgeous, delicious, wonderful, marvellous. Words to that effect. There you go, cheese and onion flan, absolutely brilliant. So have a go. Thanks for watching and see you next time.